welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Trisha Penn. I'm a licensed real estate agent in New York City, and I also write a fashion, food, and lifestyle blog called feastandfashion.com. Here on Feast and Fashion TV, we talk about fashion, food, and lifestyle, and of course, real estate. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click that um, notification button so you'll know when these videos come up. And of course, give me a huge thumbs up. Thank you very much. Uh, anyway, welcome to day seven of Vlogmas. Technically today's day eight, but yesterday I didn't get a video out because of work obligations and I take that very seriously. So today's day seven. We'll make it up. We'll make it up along the way. But <laughs> welcome to um, my seventh Vlogmas. And today's video, if you haven't already figured it out from the title, it's kind of a sneak peek or a show and tell of uh, some of my coat collection. So one of the things about me is that I, so you guys know, I'm a shoe girl. I'm a shoe girl, shoe girl, I love shoes. Um, and then probably second to that is are my blazers like I love a good blazer I love a statement blazer I love a blazer moment um, but third on the list on that totem pole of clothing or fashions um, would be coats I love 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 a good coat and when it comes to coats for me I am very much into a statement coat I love a statement moment I cannot get enough of it. My coats, most for the most part, aren't very boring. They have a little pizzazz, a little, ja you know, their little je ne sais quoi to them. So that's just my style. <laughs> and um, especially when you have to, you know, schlep around in the winter, in the colds, because I hate the cold. I am not a cold person. I can do without it. But I love New York so much. So. Here we go, we have to take the cold with the New York, so. Uh, but if I have to do that, I have to do it in a fabulous coat. And today I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of my collection so that maybe if you're in the market for a new coat, maybe you have a coat on your Christmas list this year, or you just need to add to your collection, um, I'm gonna give you some inspo of some of the coats that I feel like you have to have in your, in your wardrobe. And, um, and yeah, so some of these, I have to preface this by saying that some of these are probably not, um, they're not available because one, either they're vintage, because I love a, a vintage coat moment. It's like my thing, like vintage coats are just so fabulous. They don't make them like they used to. Um, and then, or two, um, they're older seasons. You know, like I, when I get a good coat, like I keep it for a while because it's a good coat so um, but I will definitely try to find some dupes and link those into the description as well uh, so let's start let's stop rambling and let's start uh, the first one out of the bunch is this beautiful beautiful azul or blue coat it is an amazing coat um, I think this is just polyester but it is from ASOS and I love this coat, and so does everybody else. <laughs> I have, every time I wear this coat out on the street, I get stopped, I, people are like, where'd you get it from? I love that coat. Even, so much so that even when I'm like going about my day, and sometimes I'll put on Insta stories, if you aren't following me on Instagram, you should definitely be doing that. I'm at Trisha Penn. Um, <laughs> But even when I'm on in my Insta stories, people will hit up, hit me up in my DMs like, oh my God, I love your coat. Like, where'd you get it from? So this coat, this infamous coat is from ASOS. And it is this beautiful blue color that is just amazing. It's the ASOS design um, line of ASOS. And it's just so beautiful. It kind of looks almost like a painting, like how there's like a blue and there's a light blue and there's a little bit of a dark blue. So they did a really good job with this one. And again, like I mentioned, it's a, a big statement because of the color. It definitely makes me stand out amongst all the black coats you see on the streets in New York City. So uh, that that's for one of those reasons that I love it. The only thing that I would say, the only downside to, the, to this coat, that I, mind you, I got a size 10, so it's very oversized, which is what I love. I love an oversized. Um, the oversized coat. Um, the buttons 
aren't that good or weren't tap like they weren't sewn down good it's not that the buttons aren't good they're like these little snappies and you can see that this part is supposed to be over here but it's not um because i haven't fixed it yet i actually probably am going to fix it this weekend though because um when it gets cold you just want to button up and i don't want to have to hold my my coat closed so that's the only thing that i would i would say about this coat that was kind of annoying but other than that like you can't go wrong with this thing this thing is just so beautiful and again because I love a statement coat your your outfits can technically be a little bit more play you know played down like it can be a little bit more basic under underneath if you have a, a fabulous coat and this is definitely a fabulous coat so the second one that I want to show you guys is a dark green uh, dark green dark gray a uh, pea coat and this coat is actually vintage I got this about three or four years ago and um, it's just I wear this every winter I it's just I love it so much it's wool so that's one thing about having a, like these vintage coats is that they are made out of really great material and this is a full wool coat and it's just so beautiful the color is like nice and dark um, but it's not black, you know, the basic black that everybody wears. And then it has these cute button details here and on the front at, to button it up, which I think is just so cute. Like this little back, little back part that, you know, gives you that little extra, a little extra in the back. I actually get stopped about this one too. Like a lot of people like this little vintage, this little vintage detail. I honestly think that this may have been like a men's coat, a men's wear, just a, like how it fits. Um, I could be wrong, it might have been a woman's coat, but regardless of that, it fits me well and I love it. I wear I wear this, this one is probably the one I wear the most. Um, I love a long coat, so that's why I like it because it makes my legs warm too, you know? Not just my upper part, but my legs too. So this is my second coat that I wanted to show you guys. And the third one, the third one is actually a little, a little less unique um, in that everybody has a teddy coat and if you don't have a teddy coat you should have a teddy coat because they are just so fun they're great to um, just pop on this is probably one of my very few short coats so like I mentioned before I like a long coat so most of my coats and my the most of the coats in my collection are actually really long um, and this is like a cute little you know shorter coat I do want to invest in some shorter coats though because I just think that sometimes they'll go with better with different outfits um, but this is this is my coat it's from French Connection and I just love it it's it's really great for the winter it's a st sturdy sturdy fabric and then also this color you can't go wrong with this beautiful color I love this color so much I have so many other pieces in this uh, rust color I would like to call it so that's this coat the next one is a very fancy favorite one. Um, this one is actually another vintage moment. And this one, again, is another wool coat and it's red. It's just so, well, this is a wool blend, but it's just such a beautiful color. Like having a red coat, a red pop of pop of red in a coat is just so good and one of my favorite parts of this coat is this sewing detail here on this pocket it just gives such a like an extra oomph to to an already amazing coat all the buttons are red too and I just love it it's it's so funny that this is vintage like I got a lot of the vintage ones like even the gray one the lining was kind of jacked up in that one but this actually was in pristine condition when I got it and I'm just so happy that, you know, it's in my collection. I've actually had this one for about two or three years as well. Um, and yeah, if you are in the market for, okay, so I can, I can stop there for right now because I just want to show, I want to mention this, is that if you're in the market for a coat, you should definitely check your local, um, your local thrift store or your local vintage shop uh, first because there are some really great vintage coats. I just think that um, 
like I said, back then they did it, like they did coats like no other and I just think that you can find some really, really great ones. Besides these, I actually have a, a lot more um, vintage coats and even vintage blazers because they just, they don't make them like they used to. So that's my little plug if you if you're in, if you're in the market for a nice coat check there first because you might find a really good one like this baby so this too is vintage and um but this vintage coat is extra special because one it's a fur coat and obviously you know something about the fur like okay i'm gonna say this I understand that there are people who are not with the fur and I get that that's all that's you know if that's your thing that's your thing but this is my thing and I really love this this fur coat um, it is amazing it is super warm in the winter time and it's very special to me because I actually found this coat um, when did I find this coat actually four years ago Four years ago in one of my favorite favorite vintage shops in Paris it's in um it's in a neighborhood called Montmartre uh, I don't know I can't remember the name of the shop if I do I will um, link it below but it's just my favorite shop and I say my favorite because I've actually been there multiple times like I've been there probably like six times because I I tend to go to Paris every two years it's my thing like I just I love Paris <laughs> but um yeah and this year would have been the year that I would have gone but COVID uh but yeah <laughs> I got this really cute coat um in one of my favorite vintage shops in Montmartre and when I saw it I was just like this is just too darling not to take with me I had to stuff it in my suitcase because my suitcase was already full when I got there let alone going vintage shopping and coming back with a bunch of other stuff but I'm so glad I did because it's just um, it's amazing fur. It's like again when you find vintage stuff that don't ha don't have any don't have any imperfections. It's like crazy. Whoever ha had this and kept this just kept it so well, and I'm just really happy that I that I got this one. So this is my vintage fur coat. And then so this last coat is really good it is a moment and it is the moment um i have to say that i don't i can't wear it often because it is super super heavy and when i say heavy i mean ooh, i mean heavy this coat is probably about weighs probably about 10 pounds it's probably heavier than my dog um, but it is amazing. I can't even show it to you like this well, so obviously you're gonna look at me styling it on the side here. But um, yeah, this is a moment. The color is just, it's a, you know, like another burnt orange, copper, how do you, how do you wanna call it? All, you know, autumn color. It's just so beautiful. This big, collar detail is just so chic and it's just this coat is just so amazing so let me let me tell you about where I got it from and I just want to say I want to give this disclaimer that if Fashion Nova is your thing more power to you I'm not judging you that's your thing if you like it I love it um, but Fashion Nova is not really my thing I don't really um, Sometimes I just I see the clothes and I don't they just don't look good quality to me or the style is just too crazy. So I'm just like ugh. But this coat is actually Fashion Nova. And <laughs> Fashion Nova did a collaboration with Cardi B. I think it was last year. And yeah, I think I got this last year. This this is definitely one a year old. But yeah, she got she did a collaboration and I got this coat and it was amazing and honestly she didn't even sell me on it or or fashion Nova didn't even sell me on it i saw someone else on instagram i can't i don't know the girl's name i just saw a, a picture of her and she styled it with like an, a copper tone top and um blue like blue uh checkered pants and it was just it's so funny because it was just such a a quirky but so chic and so fly that I was like 
oh my gosh I need this coat it's and the fact that I even remember the, remember what the outfit was that goes to show you how how much it made an impact on me but it was just so cute and I would, after that I was like I'm sold so I got this coat again it's full of drama it's that kind of coat that you have to go you, you wear when you're going out I can't even though I do tend to wear my coats even my my fur like I'll wear that on a regular day I'll put put a little jean with it a little you know plain top like this and I'll wear it on a regular day but this one I can't because I have to put too much effort to, to wear it it's too heavy to wear like an everyday kind of thing but it's fabulous and it is super warm so it's definitely an amazing coat um, again I don't think that you can shop these because shop this because it's, it's um it's old it's an older season but if I find something similar or if I find you know something that you can kind of dupe or something for it I will definitely link it in the bio but yeah that's it for me today thank you thank you thank you so much for watching this video these are a labor labor of love and anybody who watches I'm just really appreciative of you join me tomorrow for my vlogmas day eight I hope you guys um and um well, hit that subscribe button first of all. Hit that subscribe button and then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.